Rise and shine, people. It's time for episode 20. And we're gonna make some episode sounds Episode 20! Yes. 20 whole episodes. And look where it got us. To... Look at this place, man. Ugh. Whoopee cushion for a table. <laughs> oh my god, what is a bionic slingshot? I want it right now. You got the money. Ooh. Let me see what... Yep, that's a great typeface right there. Ugh, really God. readable. Yeah, it's fantastic. I wonder what sound that's supposed to be coming out of that dude's... That quote-unquote dude's mouth. Which you carry what, what this you, burden. What are you talking about, out of that dude's mouth sound? I mean, oh, like... Oh, you're, you're talking about, uh, what does that typeface indicate? Yeah. I... He's talking like this! I assume every, everyone in this town sounds like Bobcat Goldthwait. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, it's, it's all just coughing. One <laughs> <laughs> <Run> hell? <laughs> Zoom! <coughs> nah. uh, I just hate you, Mr. Saturn. I just hate you so much. We loved him at the last episode, you know, two whole weeks ago. <laughs> Jeff, talking to these assholes takes so many clicks. Cause they have to speak at like eight, eighteen point, <laughs> eighteen point asshole font. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Jeez. <laughs> yes, there's something else I need. I want to sell something. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's keep it rolling here, Mr. Saturn. <clears throat> oh, Rob Z's got all kind of space. It is kind of a pain that you have... Yeah, For like... every action you want to perform, you have to go through a whole, like, text ordeal. Yeah. Yes. Alright. That one is... Fine. Great. That okay. one is S44, huh? Yup. Ugh, I'm gonna need to some, some of these here bionic slingshots, baby. Is that a, uh, Lars weapon? It's a Lars and Naomi weapon, apparently. Oh. No more, uh, skillets for her. Indeed not. I wonder what a bionic slingshot looks like. Yes. Yes. Naomi. Yes. Great. Oh, wow. <laughs> what are those numbers? What think you about? He talks like Yoda. Mm, about what you think? That was atrocious, and I'm going to cut it out of the final cut. That's... You're not going to cut that out. <sighs> You're right. You're not going to go through... <laughs> You're gonna go through the effort to, to <laughs> scan through this episode before you post it. In order you to know me so out. well. Silver bracelet? Yeah. This guy. Uh huh. Let's go! Okay. Else needs Zoom. Got it. Let's, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> Don't jerk me around, Saturn. <laughs> there was there was just bomb in there. <laughs> yeah. You, you can straight up buy a bomb in Saturn Town. <laughs> Yo, I can also get you a bong in Saturn Town, but in Saturn Town you don't need it. <laughs> it's just one giant vaporizer. <laughs> Every one of those little dudes has a uh, has a thumb hole. And a lighter, I guess. Oh, God! <laughs> not really, not really up on uh, how bongs work, but I assume those are some of the things you'll need. <laughs> Just saying every one of those little dudes has a thumb hole, huh? <laughs> Did you ever see that, you ever see that one episode of South Park with Steve Irwin? Uh, I'm gonna oh, do, yeah, we're... And I'm gonna stick my thumb in his battle! That's the worst Steve, Ir Steve Irwin impersonation in history. 
But it's, it's pretty close to the to the dude they got to impersonate him. Though, <laughs> yeah. So. Right. As long as you say, you know, three or four key words in an Australian accent, you right. pretty much got that impression down. I wish I were better at doing impressions. That'd be a cool that fast. Oh god, this thing is what an ATM. Would, what would really be cool is if you can exactly replicate the, like, waveform pattern of another person's voice. So you're literally indistinguishable from that person. Like in Mission Impossible. What the that hell is a horn of life? Person? They had like this little thing they could strap on their neck and you could perfectly emulate someone else's voice. Hmm. Great, I got the horn of life. Which sounds weird. That seems pretty straightforward <laughs> to me. It's a horn and you blow it. I told it. you! I told you! <laughs> I fucking told you! <laughs> Which of you will be burdened with the secret herb <laughs> and the secret probable cause? No! Once I got that secret herb, that's all I need, baby. I want you to leave this room. Uh, yeah, I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. Hey! What? Get off that ladder. <laughs> hey! Hey, doofus. What are you doing? This ladder doesn't go anywhere. Don't tell me there's not a problem. Free this zombie full. I saw a bad stink behind falls. Zoom. Ah. Uh, All the other Mr. Saturns I in the area nod sagely. Mm, I'm done with Saturn Town, man. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I want to know what's going on with that oh, pink wait. lake. Yeah, what's in that? It's a cotton candy lake? Is it bubble gum? What's does, up with that? Does chocolate milk come out of it? Laffy Taffy? <laughs> now and later? Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> Grapefruit Falls. Scary, sick, barfy, go and la la la. Ding, scary. Okay. Uh, how does this civilization continue? <laughs> they don't have. <laughs> it's all about the thumb hole, man. <laughs> <laughs> say, say password, then stand still. Wait. For three minutes. Oh, yeah, I remember this. We have to wait an entire three minutes. We trade secret herb. So, you have... We trade horn of life. We look like same. <laughs> we look like the same. <laughs> oh man, they look so goddamn much like the same. Hail the hail. <laughs> Ah, uh, classic internet nonsense. Let's, uh, I'm gonna find out what that- Look at that waterfall! I wanna wait- I wanna wait for three minutes. <laughs> I wanna see if that's actually the answer to the puzzle. If we literally have to sit here. I've used literally twice as a qualifier this episode. You disgust If me. we- If we have to stand there for three whole minutes, and that is the method the designers of this game chose to, you know, make their game, you know. It's their, their version of an entertaining experience. <laughs> this is quote Don't unquote. Go... No, I need to, I'm gonna call our mom real oh, for fuck's sake. Pick, that, pick the letter out of that vending machine. That was an ATM. Well, maybe we can get to that phone on the top of this ladder. <laughs> Call our mom real quick. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> oh my. Steamy soap operas. You have been gone for days, haven't you? Many days. I, mean, I never really considered it until now, but 
up till this... It all, it's all felt sort of like one day. I mean, we have played, I guess, for probably about 24 hours. Yeah. Wait, uh... I guess you're right. Episode say 20. You know, we're... A couple of the episodes were over an hour, I guess. Yeah. Well, okay, so not quite... Probably not quite 20. Even, yeah, the last time I checked our, uh... The length of our playlist on YouTube was like 18 and a half hours. Man. How long do you think this game is? Do you think 30 hours? Four. Nope. Not talking to the garbage guy. <laughs> nope, no need for that. <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just like Grandpa Simpson, walk in, walk right back out. <laughs> Later. Oh yeah, this guy, he puts his chair on the table and his teacups on the floor. Yes. Perfect. And also his phone Just at the top of a letter. Just like a center knight. Uh... Nope. I'm not sure if that's our max or, or whatever. This is happening. Sir, I could... Oh, hello. Don't fight the bug. That bug is coming at us, man. Don't fight it. Run! Run! Go! Oh. <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Wash it! Wash it with your foot! Bastard. I like how he's got one one arm up in the air like he's cursing your name. <laughs> you killed my brother! I'll get you for this, Lars! If it's the last thing I... <laughs> Yea, verily, the sports page did descend on him. <laughs> and smashes his guts out upon the ground. Ugh. More worthless bugs. Whatever. Huh. Yeah. Ding. Oh, baby. All right, level 30. Give me some of that Let's red show... hot. Go ahead. Start showing off all those levels to Naomi there. Hey, yo, girl. Check out these levels. That. She got all these notches on my belt. I don't even know what that means. Useless! Ugh. I don't want to fight another one. I want to get through this room. Or at least fight something else. Yeah. Oh. Well, now you're gonna have to fight them again. No, that they get they get placed randomly. Oh, hello. Oh, that's right. We did all this before. Yeah. And we died, I think, or something. Oh, we, we had to we had to flee the scene. Take that, farm zombie. Country ass zombie. It's got cold cocked. I think we can take this guy. No, no. Ah! Always oh. skip battles that you don't have to fight. Never skip battles. You and I have different gaming philosophies. Damn it! I just know we're playing this ridiculous JRPG, and I want it. I want the boss battles to be easy. You know, I've put a little thought into this since I since we started playing this, and the way I would probably approach this is I would level up a lot in the first area, then go through until it got really hard to win. Yeah. And then set, you know level up a bunch there, and it would be easy for a long time until it got really hard again. You know, it would be sort of a... A path like that. Yeah. Where I would push, I mean, constantly pushing it to the limit of trying to avoid 
It's happened a lot, a lot more. That seems reasonable. But then once I'm engaged in leveling up, doing absolutely as much as I can. Alright, maxed out. Uh, Lars, eat this calorie stick. Alright, I think we are adequately hyped up. Now you use your bad apple machine. Say the password. <laughs> Say it! Say, Say password. password! What? Do we really have to wait here for three minutes? Well, he said say say password, then wait for three minutes, wasn't it? Who's saying that? Hey, voice! We How do I enter a password? We didn't get the password, did we? Like, the guy yeah. said say say the password, and then wait for three minutes. So we we didn't get like. Is it like an item or something? Are you selecting and it says say password? No. Did, did you try talk to? I'm sure you did. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Who am I talking to? That's a very good question. It's that eyeball thing from Jabba's Palace. That was the order, right? You had to say the password and then yeah. wait three minutes. Like all I make that, all I do to make that come down is press up. So, well, we got three minutes to burn. You seen any good movies lately? We were talking about Zardoz earlier. That's a pretty good movie. Mm. Watched Quest for Fire again the other day after I was talking about it. I think on the show, actually. It sounds like something you would do. That's the one about Quest cavemen, Fire's right? Quest for Fire is a good movie. Yeah. It's it's kind of... I mean, it's... It's, it's a good movie. There's sounds no good. dialogue in that movie. Just is there okay. grunting and pointing? Yeah. I mean, they, they have a language, but they don't they don't translate. There's not, like, subtitles or something like that, you know? You kind of just get got to get the gist out of how they act and that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, and it's, it's like, it's a it's a language they made up for the movie. Oh, cool. I that choose to believe like, they're speaking Elvish. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, it's like, p part of it's... It's a, uh, uh, dramatic story about cavemen. Uh, but there's also a bunch of comedy in there because, you know, they are cavemen and they lead an absurd lifestyle by our standards. Yeah. Just like those Geico commercials. It's a lot like those Geico commercials, actually. <laughs> so easy, a caveman can do it. It's amazing how much, how many car insurance salesmen there were back in the Stone Age, before there were cars. Well, they were just trying to anticipate. It's like, look, man, if Thog runs into your wheel, and I'll explain the wheel in a minute, but if Thog <laughs> runs into your wheel, you don't want to pay for that out of pocket. And you won't have to go after Thog with a lawyer you paid for out of your own pocket just to be made whole again. I totally hit a guy today. Oh, God. What? What? Not, no, not bad, like, and the guy wasn't in the car, but I was oh. in the parking lot, and I was, I was backing out, and, uh, I nicked the bumper of the, uh, Aha! the car behind me. That car was already, like, like, pretty wrecked up anyway, though, so I just said, well, he's not gonna notice. I think you may have just admitted, have admitted to a crime on this, on this show. It's not a crime if there's no damage, I mean, you don't, like... I guess, oh... It's a surprisingly advanced thing to be behind a waterfall next to a hell hole full of insane football thumb holes. What the hell is that? Yeah, was the answer really just to wait three minutes? Yeah, all, all I did was we just sat there. And you appeared in this. 
What, what is this guy, the bouncer at the club? Better oh, not just be he's three dudes slimes. Here. Remember that guy, that the fake barf enemy? Oh yeah. He's one of those. Uh, hey, he's a brain slug. Why don't you ease up, man? Are you, are you gonna have to fight that? Don't you have some of that? Yeah. Just, hey, uh, Gumdrop, what's uh? Talk to it. <laughs> what's going on, buddy? Uh, I come in peace. Nope, I'm uh, getting you, stabbed. He's just not receiving <laughs> you in peace, though, so... He's called the Foppy. <laughs> Sounds like a... like he's a jazz musician or something. <laughs> Foppy <Foppy's> Arbuckle. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now we just busted that thing's ass. Well, that went well. I I don't want to fight that. Why why is the green thing so cool with us uh -huh. being here? With the red. Oh. Hi everybody. Ah, well. uh, farm zombies. These guys are just bitch made. I'm gonna flash him up. Uh, shoot somebody. And uh, I want to get some spy info on these guys. Offense, whatever. Well, with a fire and flash, good. Blah! You know what surprises me every time I see it? What's that? When, uh, you're walking around, you know, in a well-populated area. Yeah. So there are tame squirrels around that don't mind that there are people there. But then other people will, like, stop and stare at the squirrels like it's some great thing and I always wonder about that what what they see why is it so impressive that the squirrel is not running away well sort of you just want to see watch stop and watch the squirrel conduct its business animals are just kind of neat like not squirrels are well I, I suppose you're right squirrels are kind of adorable I mean they're fluffy they do little human things with their hands sometimes. If you're like sitting on a park bench and a squirrel comes up watching it, but when you're on a college campus <laughs> walking between classes and people stop and say things like, oh my god, the squirrel's not running away at all. Oh, really those, those, those people have just people. been smoking up. <laughs> Dude. That squirrel is so chill. Oh my god, what the hell? Nobody cares about those red things. <laughs> I hate you, Foppy. Get the hell out of here. What the we're hell? In the, uh, Lars? We're in the, can the candy kingdom from that show. Uh, what's that show called? Wait, what? What's the show, where the, the cartoon, where there's a candy kingdom? And oh, uh, Adventure Time. Adventure Time, yes. Princess Bubblegum. And all the, the citizens are, are giant pieces of candy. <laughs> what the hell? Look at its eyes. They are single There's pixels. One, yeah, one pixel eyes. Hey, pixel eyes. <laughs> we get you pixelize now. Nah. Man, we get over a thousand experience for those things. Uh, there were three of them, so we got four hundred. Oh, uh, god damn it, Rob! These things are pushovers, though. They're not doing hardly any damage to you. Yeah, that one just forgot to attack, and for his forgetfulness, was destroyed. This would be our reward for getting through that other area. Talking to those thumb holes at the other place. Freaking thumb. Oh! Whatever. <laughs> Ooh, four. Oh. Ain't nobody got time for that. You really need an attack that attacks everything at once. Yeah. And doesn't chew up my friggin' PP all the time. Ugh. 
and preferably one-shots them. In fact, I just need a cheat code. That can be arranged. I know a guy. Is his name Thomas B. Internet? His name is Nintendo Power. <laughs> Nintendo Power. Nintendo Osmond Power. Hey, what? buddy. So honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of this episode. Ugh, so honest. No, there is a problem. I want to know what uh, that is. Yeah, there is, a, there is very much a problem here. What's in that can? <laughs> Give it to me. Uh. No! Motherfucker! Those two over there were just fine with you. What's the deal with this one? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you seem upset. <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm a slimy little pile. Oh, for God's sake. Wow. Effective. Super effective, one might say. Do not. If say one that. were so inclined. Ugh. You worthless little shit. Uh, that is very clearly a pile of vomit. <laughs> Wrong end of the, uh, the, uh, path there. Oh, God's sake! Did it just multiply? It called in some- it called in... Oh. Bro enforcements or something. I don't think the game actually called them that, but, you know. It sounds good to me. Hey, that's copyrightable. Burn! <laughs> I love that sound effect. <laughs> Please, tell me again why it wasn't effective. Ass. <sighs> Have you ever defended? Does that, how, how does that work? Uh, I assume it's just your defense goes up. Yeah! Here you go, my, my ceaselessly weeping lovelies. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, he the slimiest. Master Belch. Oh. Oh. Dump bum bum. Nope, 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 Lot nope. Vomit thickens. The vomit thickens. There, so there was a there's a, a ladder down over here and there's a ladder up over there. What do you think is the right thing to do? Down. <sighs> up. The one that where you don't have to find a thing. Oh my god! Or, th or three things. Whatever this guy's after. Pop, 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 till I see your gumdrop ass drop. And let your gummies know who done it. Run! Robsy, you fool! Nice. You had a, uh, you know, blinking invisibility for a minute, Good. probably. Yep. Uh, oh, you made it. <laughs> I absconded. I want what's in that room, though. And I think we can take out the zombies in one fell swoop. Do it. I say do it. Or Leroy! Caution to the wind. There's no wind in here. Just throw your caution somewhere. <laughs> Just get it out of here. For God's <laughs> sake. Put it on that conveyor belt. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in one of those cans. Uncle Cletus's red hot caution flakes. Whoever buys that can is have a very rude awakening. Yes. Burn! I wanted coffee, what did I get? Caution. <laughs> False advertising. Black and yellow stripes. God damn it! Lars keeps pussing out for no reason. 
We just called our mom, too. Is that... Is that what he's doing? He's crying for his mother? Like, sometimes you get... I guess sometimes you get homesick? And that's when you have to call your mom? But it says that he's craving... Steak. An IQ capsule! Maybe he's... <laughs> is, is, is hunger a... A thing in this game? I think it is, right? All those hamburgers that we had at one point? Yeah, we ate calorie sticks a little while ago, though. I'm gonna give... Maybe they weren't very big calorie sticks. It's possible. Uh... I sent you to cal... Eat the refreshing herb! No, that's... what happened. That's, that's for, you know, for healing uh, status ailments. Hit him oh. with this, uh, hit him with this protein drink. Alright. Nah, I just went to hit points. Well, so but it might have also... It might have also taken care of your hunger. Oh, uh, see, uh, he's, uh... He's homesick. Shit. Damn it, Lars! We called our mom right before I left, though. That, that's how that's supposed to work, right? I brought you on this journey because I thought you were a man. Yeah, stop being a bitch. See the thing we got just now? Ooh, I wonder what the IQ capsule does. It increases oh. your IQ. Great. On who should I... Let's look at the status. IQ, IQ. Whose IQ needs bumping? <laughs> well, not Rob Z, because he's an engineer. Yeah. So. Lars has the lowest, so. I guess we'll have him take it. Well, hold on. What? You. Maybe you do want to give it to Rob Z, because that's like his thing. Maybe oh. we want to, to pump him up with IQ. What does IQ even do? I have no idea. It increases your ability to solve, like, visual puzzles and Rubik's Cubes and things. Well, his IQ went up by one. Good. Indeed. Hey, Rob Z, take a crack at this Rubik's Cube. I've been banging my head against this for 30 years now. And, <laughs> and I'm only eight. Ugh. Ugh. But you have to do it. Out. I'm gonna have Rob Z spy on it. Slimy little fucker. Spy. Alright. Offense, defense, paralysis. Hmm. Paralysis, huh? Uh, I don't know if we have anything that does that, though. Oh. Well. Frank, our father, who art in heaven. Oh my god, what? That was kind of awesome. I, I couldn't read all that. What was all Naomi's body did what? She, she prayed and or, she became free. She was paralyzed, but then she straightened oh. herself out. But... Everybody else got, like, a, a minor boost to their, uh, HP. Which is kind of cool. Can I just make her do that all the time? Always be praying. Yeah. I mean, if, for God's sake. We'll just slap her in a convent and breeze right through the rest of this <laughs> meteor debacle. <laughs> Here's this rosary. It's a Mobius rosary, so you can never finish it. <laughs> Mosey, Mobius Rosary would be a pretty good, uh, like, rock album name. Yeah, I can see that. For a Stop. Christian rock band, you know. Oh, crap. Great. Worthless. Everybody now. Pillock. Great. Ha! Stop weeping, you bitches. I like that sound effect, that... <laughs> Never mind. I can't... 
I can't replicate the sound effect, but... Oh my god, this praying thing is amazing! I'm gonna keep doing it, like, every time so I can get free hit points, everybody. How much, uh, juice does it soak up? Uh, we, we get six or seven hit points per person, and, um... Yeah, but how much PP does it take? I mean, nothing, apparently. It's like free it? money. Yeah. Praying is free, Andrew. God doesn't want a toll. Unless you're praying long distance, asshole. Uh. Man, I want to sign up for your god. <laughs> oh god. My god charges roaming fees. <laughs> when in Rome, spend as the Romans do. Ha-ha! Keep praying. Shoot that thing. Ha! Ah. Punk-ass little pile. A subtle light. Alright! There's no... Oh, so good! Just so you know, we're about to hit our 30-minute mark for this episode. Okay. But I, w I want to get to some... I want to know where this is going. Agreed. So keep keep going until we find something interesting in this structure. These are mostly bad flies. Yeah, I'm not interested at all <laughs> in this. My interest level is plummeting as we speak. Fire, freeze, and paralysis. Got it. Blap. Oh my god. My interest is approaching the speed of light. And therefore becoming massive? I don't know what you're saying with that. There's gamma rays gushing out of your interest. Holy crap! Naomi's prayers killed that bug. My interest is slowing down. <laughs> uh, okay, it's, it, this might take a while. God dang it. Everybody. Uh, ooh, that's expensive. Get that guy. I'm I've decided that status ailments are the worst. Yeah, but uh, the, the, the slimy pile is, is um, susceptible to them. So it, it appears to almost always work. It's nice when, when casting status ailments on your enemies actually works. Yeah. It's just... It, it's terrible that for the most part, status ailment spells and things are... are almost... It's useless. Yeah. They almost never work on anybody but you. And we're about to be out of freaking PP. Is. Probably because the status elements are terrible and like they would be totally game breaking. If they always worked. They're not game breaking for the enemy. Yeah, because generally the, the main the player characters have like a decent means to respond. There was usually like five player characters. They were like a boss. And you could just make it so he couldn't fight back. You just stomp all over him. Crap. I mean, well, most status ailments don't impair your ability to fight. They just, they do things like, well, they might increase your miss ratio or something. Yeah. You know? Or they just slowly kill you over time. Very slowly. Ugh. <laughs> this is so stupid! I just realized I should have been praying that whole time so I could get our hit points back. <laughs> Whoops. Ding. That's what they all say. Ding? No, they... They all get to the pearly gates, and it's like, God oh, damn! I meant to be praying that whole time! <laughs> A vital capsule! I just forgot! I got so caught up in my, you know, 
debauchery that <laughs> totally forgot to pray. What does a vital capsule do? But it increases your vitality. Oh. oh. Goods. Naomi definitely the needs that. Instruction manual for your uh, item inventory is really expertly written. <laughs> Vitality capsule increases your vitality. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Oh, for God's sake. Ooh, this will get a get the first hit this time. Fellas, let's beat these bitches. Looks like a bullet with wings. It'd be way cooler if it were. Maybe it is. You don't know it's not. True that. You're not there. What are you, an earthbound entomologist? Yes. Earthmatology is my game. Again, I should have been praying. Crap. There's gotta be a prayer result that gets you, like, PP back. Well, I'll have plenty of time to do it this time. Yeah. And if you don't do it this time, you do it next time. And if you don't do it next time, you do it the time after that. No, I'm doing it this time. And then if you don't do it within the next three seconds, <laughs> you can do it out, you know, on the next. Yeah, alright! There you go, PP! Love it. I like that sound effect. The very end of that little that animation. Yeah. Uh, defend, Naomi, pray, Rob Z, defend. Yeah! You know what else I really, uh, I really like? Do tell. When, when you pull into the parking lot of a store that has, uh, mirrored windows in front of it, so you can see yourself pull into the parking spot. Oh yeah, like in the, like the, the reflection, like the store windows, so you can you can get it just right. Yeah, I was I, I and also so you don't have to like look in the mirror to back out. You can well use the mirror that is the window. Yeah, just makes everything a whole lot easier. A whole lot easier. <laughs> oh. For Wait, some what? reason, I'm not comfortable with that with using a lot in that way. Huh? Why is that? Wait. It's much easier. Apparently, one of the one of the prayer results just blinds everyone. That's not cool. You prayed to the wrong god. Yeah, I guess. Take that slimy little pile. God was on vacation. The devil was house sitting. <laughs> I want that PP result again, damn it. Yeah, golden light. Oh. <sighs> Mysterious aroma. <laughs> <laughs> and then everybody fell asleep. Way to go. When they wake up, their eyes might be dry at Ooh, least. they are. Be nice if when you fell asleep, you healed a little bit of HP each round or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. But that's not the way it is, so it's really useless to even think about. Yep. You might as well cut out the part of your brain that lets you think about that. It's just utterly <laughs> wasted. Waste of energy. Extract that neuron and throw it in the trash where it belongs. Wow, we sort of beat on that thing for a long time. Although I do I do like this new this prey move that I didn't realize we had. Yeah, I like prey. Oh. Maybe that's what oh. Oh thank you. I love you, tiny butterfly. Can we when be? are we gonna meet another not me? <laughs> be 
hope we will. I hope so. Oh, I'm ready for the story of this game to progress. Yes. We've been sort of in a holding pattern while we've been gathering up our, our homies. I think we have one more, too, don't we? We had a dog, too. Do uh, you think the dog will ever come back? Maybe. That'd be cool if he did. Didn't we name the dog? Yeah, his name was Carl. <laughs> Carl Malone. To see a Carl Malone. <sighs> you didn't even have to get all the way over there for them to They're like, oh, snap hey. you that time. Everybody they knew you... The game knew you weren't getting past that. Yeah. There's no way. But she was like, there's no way. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Burn! Alright. Just kill it, just kill it! I never saw any of this when I played this game when I was a kid. Never got, never got this far? Some heavy I don't air. know if I started at the beginning. I might have just... You know, because I rented it from Blockbuster or whatever, so... I might have just gone from whatever save there was on huh. there. Because I feel like I had four characters when I was playing it. Yeah, it's some kind of karate guy we're going to meet at some point. All right, side magnet. Naomi sticks to magnet. <laughs> okay, internet. If you guys remember what that's from, ten points. Send me a self-addressed stamped envelope with twenty dollars in it. If you can send yourself back to two thousand three, <laughs> ten whole years ago, you might know what we're talking about. Impossible. All these people were dead in 2003. They were dead to me, anyway. Ugh. Always with the friggin' weeping. Yeah. Just makes things longer. You don't lose the battle or anything, but... Yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. Makes you press more buttons, makes us spend more time in this wavy pink and green dimension. And it's just vomiting over and over again. It's like a Mobius strip of toilet paper. Not everything's a Mobius strip. Man. Everything is a Mobius strip. Okay. <laughs> it's all... I don't care if I'm right, I just care that you're <laughs> wrong. You don't even care if I'm wrong, you just care that I... I... Stop... Pointing out... <laughs> the, uh... Never declare anything ever again. <sighs> See those piles? Puddles. Piles, puddles. I don't wanna- I don't wanna touch them. That one has uh, a kiss <laughs> in the middle of it. Is that one in the middle? Oh, hey. Has lips on it. What a suspicious fellow! Look, well... Okay. I have, I have... This how game has adequately trained me in how to handle you, you little bastard. How about fighting another one of these? <laughs> that sounds... That's fun, right? You sure like fighting these things. <laughs> this is just... Earth might just be like, and now, for your pleasure, this again. <laughs> and now for something completely different. The same. <laughs> <laughs> it's that same thing again. Just watch the end of this, it's more of those clam saucers. <laughs> Making that horrible sound. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, There's nothing over there that we it. need. Goodbye. Just, oh! No, just you gotta step in the kiss puddle. Go in the kiss puddle. Uh oh. Yeah. 
Oh, the can't boss is over there. Can you see the boss? Hey. How you doing? What's, uh, <laughs> what's going oh, on, buddy? Frank. <laughs> Hi, I'm Randy. I'm the leader of the... <laughs> I'm the leader of the slime people. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of me. I'll be your sommelier tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Appropriate. <laughs> Thanks for spelling it out for me. I'm saving our game right here. Er, er, er. So you are Lars. <laughs> Okay, Gjork, Gjork, Gjork. So that's their specials for today. I saw Gjork in concert one time. <laughs> Did you do any tracks that featured he? <laughs> that's a laugh, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gag has a scare or something. We can't we <laughs> Randy. I don't even please. know anymore. Car ga car ga 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 Randy, please. Come on. I have to consult a Japanese guy to figure out what's going on here. Not even one that speaks Japanese. It's just like, hey, Tom, you're Japanese, <laughs> right? What the fuck is this? He's gonna take us down big time. And I know who's <laughs> gonna tell me all about it. Tell me all about it big time! <laughs> True nausea. <laughs> My thoughts precisely. Yup. I'm gonna... It's like the blob. I'm gonna... You know? Go ahead and give him the berries. Right up front. Get him with all my... First, the, the blob didn't need a mouth. Because it would just sort of absorb you. Yeah, just engulf you. Uh, spy on that ass. Burn him! Yeah! Alright, offense 50... Hypnosis. He's open to hypnosis. <laughs> it's just not. I'm, I'm open to hypnosis. Ugh. Look at the nausea icon. What the hell is that supposed to be? I'm into things like psychic science. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm open to hypnosis. I've got one of those spiral wheels on the headboard of my bed. <laughs> I have a lot of dream catchers. <laughs> I like to put them in other people's houses. Steal their dreams. Oh dear, Rob Z's about to get effed up. Pull it together, Rob Z. Alright, I'm gonna keep... Lars is gonna be on Hope Gnosis duty. For the foreseeable future. Uh, Rob Z is gonna need... Shoot. She is not Yep. No, sis. Nope. Ah! He doesn't have one. I, th I think, I think, uh, Lars is the only cure thingy for wh what he's got. I've heard that the secret herb cures nausea. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, <laughs> that's why people with cancer use it. Now you feel bad. I felt bad way before we got to this point. Just you know, I'm gonna fight a hundred piles of fake vomit. Oh, with, uh, Jesus Christ! Plenty just demoralize me after. Now, now he called on one. So I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to burn him. That really feels like something you should be able to flick away with your foot. Yeah. You know? 
He's sort of knocking over into the corner or something. Well, yeah, you just get some of that some of that pink sawdust from the uh, from the janitor and sprinkle a little of that on there, and you it's all right. <laughs> there was a whole lake of the stuff back in Saturn Town. <laughs> Why didn't we plan ahead? Puke dust lake. Today, in my collaborative design class, uh, we, you know, presented the progress on our, on our projects. Yeah. And, uh, in describing our, uh, like, uh, language for our, uh, our representative language, I used, uh, I, I, I had it in sort of outline form and had labeled different objects with different, you know, uh, different tiers of objects with different letters. Yeah. And the last tier, like, I had already used, uh, Roman numerals, and I'd already used Arabic, uh, or I mean, uh, I'd already used Roman numerals and Roman letters, and then I went to Greek letters, and everybody else in that class was, like, fascinated with the fact that I used oh, Greek letters in my outline. Really? Yeah. They were like, whoa, what's going on? What are th like, What? I don't know, I, just, I just thought that was an interesting anecdote. No, this is weird. <laughs> well, you know, they, they just... You are freaking had, me out. Had never... Never seen that done before, I guess. You're a madman. FIRE! Ugh. Bastard! Ah, uh, crap. You've got this, man. Okay, I'm just gonna have to keep hitting him with the hot fire. I don't think Lars has even taken damage yet, has he? No. They keep attacking our, our weaker people, which is really irritating. Broken pipe. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this secret herb? Yeah. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Great, now he's out of, uh... Out of whatever, too. Uh... Do you think he's really slimy like a slug? Or really leathery, like a stingray or something. Hmm. I bet he's really sticky. He's like a huge puddle of vomit. You think? You think he's? You don't think he has any sort of skeletal structure under all that? No. I mean, he has teeth. They do, he appears to be a big version of the slimy little pile. One of those things said that he is the slimiest. So I'm going to go with him being like a big sticky pile of bad hoodoo. I meant he's like a slug. You know, has the consistency of a slug. Yeah. I've never actually touched a slug, I don't think, but I have a pretty good idea what it feels like. Crap. Great, now we're all friggin' crying, too. <sighs> I'm crying. And I'm out of PP, son of a bitch. Sucks! Yeah, use the bicycle. <laughs> Show him the goods. Sigh. Ah, uh, now she's out, too. Ooh. Maybe I can sigh magnet these fools. Great. Wow, really? So how's it doing all that hypnosis. stuff? Shh. Great. <sighs> this is 
there's apparently like four extra slimy piles here doing something. That you just can't see? Apparently. Maybe they're behind you, turn around. <laughs> I can't yeah. turn around! There's they're no acting. More! Great, now we can't hit anything. Man, this went south really fast. Yeah. Yep. And now uh, she's dead, too. Dude. Pray! I mean, when it goes bad, it goes bad. Yeah, this is effed. We were doing so well! <sighs> Escape! I don't think you can run from a boss battle. You, use your life horn. Rob Z had it, he died. That is your first mistake. You can't trust Rob Z with a life horn. And use this HP sucker. Great. <laughs> there must be an item that only Rob Z can use properly. <sighs> Rob Z, you bastard. Why? I taught you everything I knew. <laughs> yep. And there it is. Fortunately, I saved our game right at the beginning of our conversation with Belch. So we can come at it again. You gonna try it again right now? Yeah, I've got time. It. I got nowhere to what? be. How long have we been doing this? Let's do this. Uh, where are we? Let's see. It was 30 minutes at 12.50. So... Uh... Yes. Almost an hour. We're gonna have to call it. I'm gonna run out of hard drive space soon. Okay, let's call it. We'll right. we'll, try, we'll we'll start off on on this disgusting thing next time. <laughs> That's right. We'll catch you next Man. time, party people. Yeah, party. Ah, slime thing. Ugh. I'm ready. I'm ready to quit this slime dungeon. Ugh. I wonder what's on the other side. I think we're in a spaceship. So we're in some kind of secret base. About. Maybe they're all have lost some kind of uplink to Guy Gas. We'll get it. We'll be able to hassle him. Man, wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see you next time. That's right. Peace out, folks.